What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode in my NA Zero to Hero series. Um, yesterday we had a huge mailbox and we went into Corthia for the first time. Today we'll continue into Corthia, see if we got any sales. Maybe do some restocking if anything is sold out. And uh, yeah, let's dive in and take a look. So yesterday at the biggest mailbox ever on, um, on the NA Zero to Hero and we started on Corthia. I didn't do the full quest line. It's time to... Um, Keep going. Obviously, we have to repost what we uh, what we've sold, um, and then we'll have to take a look. Well, uh, hopefully, we can find some cheap death blossoms. If we can, then we'll recraft some missives because they've been selling like hotcakes. Oh yeah, the enchanted lightless silk. Nice. What price is that? One three nine seven nine over two fifty two. Fifty five a pop, so nothing crazy. But that's still profitable. So another big mailbox. Our gold is actually going up now. Our gold is going up. So it's all a little bit of food as well. Uh some enchants. A lot of enchants actually. Ogre. Wow, 1300 for a sinful revelation. That's so good. Okay, so we gotta buy uh, sacred shards and we gotta look for. Um, we gotta buy sacred shards and we gotta look for. Um, Death Blossom. Yeah, Death Blossom is cheap. Good. So we gotta buy some. I can't believe I managed to sell those sacred shards for 70 gold. Why did someone buy that? Doesn't make much sense. Whatever. Do I need eternal crystals? Um, I have, uh, I have enough. And then we need some death blossoms. We'll get like 400, I guess. It's a fine quantity. All right, crafting first. Wait, I'm I'm not getting any luminous. Come on, game. Give us the luminous. Wait, I probably need a little bit of nightshade as well. Probably need that. So I'm guaranteed I need more than uh, than four if I want to be up at five of each. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some nightshade. Let's queue up, see how many we need. Three, Missives of Haste. Five, Missive of Mastery. Yeah, definitely a lot of people recrafting their legendaries right now. So we gotta take advantage of that. Um, that's us needing at least like, probably 40 Nightshade. We'll go for 40. And then obviously we got a bunch of enchants to recraft as well. Specifically all the goodies down here, the, the tenets. Okay, it's a crit we've not sold out of. Oh, we have recrafted? I don't believe in this. I don't trust that. All right, we got to check the auction house again. Make sure it's updated. I think the TSM data is not updated. Let's uh, cancel the short duration auctions before we craft. Oh god, these Grim Veiled Hoods, man. They're gonna be worthless. I don't think I made money on them, but I didn't lose much. It was worth the risk. I think I bought them just before they announced 9.1. If I'd been more astute, I would have like flipped uh, pants instead. Tried to flip pants. Mm -mm. But that's too late now. That's too late now. Okay, 
so I'm gonna smell these. Okay, so now I have a, a veritable ton of uh, of tranquil pigment. Very good. All right, back to the auction house it is. Speed this stuff up, boom, boom, max, wait. <laughs> Why though? Why? Why are you selling these for seven gold? What's even the point of selling them for seven gold? What's even the point of selling them at that point? Just give them away, just throw them away, like there's no point. Like honestly, it's it's like it's not worth the time to repost for seven gold per. They sell slowly as well. Like what? I mean it's the same for the rank ones. These people are absolutely hyper desperate to get the sale. Wow recoup some money it's it's completely pointless like you're better off just destroying them or vendoring them and then spending your time doing something useful rather than reposting stuff for prices that are just never going to give you any gold like at some point it's just not worth your time to even bother reposting But hey, I mean, they probably leveled rank, th if they leveled rank 4 helm cloth helmets right now, then they're in a little bit of trouble anyway, right? Because who wants those when uh, that's a shard of domination socket? But like, man, what's the point? What's the point? Better off not, not doing it. Better off not crafting. Better off not posting them. But well, whatever, they're allowed to uh, to do what they're allowed to do. It's a free, um, it's a free game. Well, it's not a free game, but you're, uh, yeah, they can do whatever they want to do with their uh, stuff. Like if it if it, if it had been a, it would be very interesting to see how the the meta for buying legendaries turns out in this patch. Like, what ranks will people actually be buying? It's kind of weird because 9.1 is out, but 9.1 is not actually out. Um, because at least as far as like crafting and endgame stuff, like there's none of the recipes are available to anyone yet because no one can farm the enough uh, reputation for them. So they're not out. Um, no one can craft rank 5 legendaries. No one can do the raid. No one can get new gear from, uh, from M+. There's like nothing. There's nothing, there's not, none of the content from 9.1 is actually available yet. <laughs> Interestingly enough. Oh yeah, I'm on the in need of assistance quest. That's where we ended, ended the night. Let's start crafting. I might need more. I might need more Death Blossoms. I'm not sure. I think I do. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. Probably. Luminous inks, man. Twenty-five. We need 30 just for this one. Yeah, it's time to sell some more umber links. Straight up. All right, let's get some more. A hundred, you think that's gonna be enough? 
I think so. Not enchanting inscription. Oh, I forgot there's some. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't done enchanting yet, of course. We haven't done it at all. Alright, so this should be enough, yeah. Now we're gonna have enough. Come on, craft me my luminous inks. Man, I wish we had the um, crafting enchant, crafting speed enchant in this expansion. <laughs> Would have been so good. Okay, so I'm gonna craft. Oh, that's the haste missives, so then we just need four more inks. Nice. Just four more. Some people have very different views than me on what, like what's worth it, like in terms of value per time spent. Like, selling rank three legendaries for seven gold a pop is just... I, I certainly understand like the logic of why you would you would feel like you're in a position where you have to do that. But um, if you think about it a little bit, I think you'll realize that it's not worth it. Ever. Right, Sinful Revelation. Yeah, we need two of those bad boys. Might need, might need some more Celestial Guidance as well. I don't care that it's not showing up as not profitable right now. It's it's it usually is profitable still. Or I can often sell it for more when the price spikes. Though I guess we are just on the other side of the reset. We'll see. Those missive prices are something else though. Missives are so profitable. They were selling two twenty fives at seven gold on this realm. It's even it's even more hilarious. All right. Uh, well, where's my hearthstone? There. We gotta get to the covenant hall. Um. It's like, do I have any callings that are about to expire? I think I do. Maybe not. Maybe I did the calling yesterday? I don't remember. Either way, it, it doesn't matter because it's more important to do daily stuff down in the... Yeah, I have one, this Revendreth world quest thingy. I don't think I'll bother, bother doing that though. I do not think I'll bother doing it. I'm just here to do the mission table. As fast as can be. Boom, 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 boom. Good stuff. What can we do here? You think I can do the campaign now? We send our highest geared leveled people. What if I add one more? Okay, so that one's qu not quite there yet. Probably can't do the more yet. So it means we... Send people on anima missions, but on anima we want to expand as few resources as possible, and then we want to send as many people as possible on our 500 XP missions. Yeah, easy money, and then the other one. That one was apparently actually hard. Right, so that gives us some XP. Um, see what this calling is. Pick it up quickly and see if we bother doing that. Rare resources. Presumably you can do that one in Corthia. That would be swell. That's giga worth it then. Um, how much renown do I have? I still need a lot of ketchup renown here, I think. Oh, we're 37, so we don't need a lot of ketchup renown. We need three more renown. So I could just do the three callings and we'll be done. Um, could make a case for doing that. Maybe we should go to Revendreth. Let's see, are there three fast ones though to do here? Um. Yeah, there are three relatively fast ones. Okay, so we'll, I'll probably do that. Actually, probably do that. Uh, 
Oh, I don't have the old gate, that's annoying. Already spent 15 minutes restocking now, we're gonna barely have time to get into Corthia at this rate. <laughs> but yeah, I think... I think this is worth it? Not quite sure. I got a companion, that's nice. It's gonna probably be two, um, two callings done today. That will leave me at uh, 39 Renown, and then I just need one more catch-up Renown from literally anything. And do a uh, call to Muldraxxus. That might be faster, though. Just, like, doing Plaguefall <laughs> once. Maybe the catch-up rate is much higher from dungeons as well. It's certainly possible. Where's the world quest over here? Oh, there. There it is. We're not gonna do like spend time doing rares in this zone. Oh, this is that one, yeah. Dirty job would work. What are you gonna do? Okay. Did I remember to equip? No, I didn't get there. I haven't gotten to the catch-up gear yet. I don't see. I get another one? Is he gonna help? Or is he just gonna reset the thing? Looks like he might just reset the thing. That was not the play. Alright, so we did it. One down. Three to go. And I like, I can blink without me, I get stuff. Let's blast them. Boom, boom, boom. That's quite quick. We're gonna get like one more, one more. Um, definitely paid off to wait for um, for um, for nine point one to do the last of the um, covenant catch up stuff or renown catch up stuff. Gonna easily be caught up before reaching any of the uh, reputation states where it matters. Right, one last, one last sap. Two hours, blah blah blah. Let's blast this one. Boom. Yes, thank you for the anima field. 30% verse. Too bad I don't have verse. 
I mean, maybe I probably have some versatility. Actually, quite a lot. What? That's probably with the bonus. Right. Oh. It's just increasing it by a flat thir by a plus 30. It's not a multiplicative increase. It's just like straight up giving you 30 more versatility. That's, that's strong. When you pump them. Right. Time to drink up. Good stuff. I guess we'll turn in not my job just to get rid of it while we're here. Certainly not going to do that quest, but we'll get rid of a quest from the quest log. Which is good. And then we ride around and there should be a... Elevator. Gwen! Thank you so much for the three months. Really appreciate it. What's up? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while on, on stream. I'm doing good. Doing good. Doing good. We're on NA now. Just getting some more renown so i'll be fully caught up although sadly like this is the last <laughs> you grinded Corthia literally all day yeah i did that during the uh, yesterday i did Corthia on like four characters total <laughs> did it on na i did it on my main i did it on uh, well the last two were done on follow like because i have two accounts obviously um, but yeah. Oh yeah, that'll happen, that'll happen. Sadly, this is going to be the last week, uh, or this is the last week where I can uh, go full time. And we're going on summer vacation for a while. I'll still be making videos and writing, but not so much streaming, sadly. And then in August, I have to go back to work. We gotta go out with a bang and get as much rep as I can. All right, let's kill these. These mites are the fastest ones. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The mites, man. More mites. What mites, man? Mites are so nice. Um, I'm also tier 3 on both my characters. I'm like, I think. Or am I just tier 2? I mean, it's easy when you have the one-time relics. But this is where things are going to slow down really. I think I've done almost all the relics. That, I think I've done all the relics that are available on my two main crafters. Um... So this is where it'll slow down because there's one that you have to wait for next week's or a uh, further like campaign progress to get at least. And then presumably there are some others that are like not. So now you have to rely on like the daily doing the rares daily and like farming the purple mobs for small amounts. What it seemed to me at least. We'll take a look later. All right. So that was a fast one. I just need to get to Aldgate and uh, be a um, secret service. On this character, I haven't even started the Archivist Codex yet because I didn't have time to get that far. I have two more quests we need to do to get that. But we'll blast, we'll blast, come on. Um... I think we fly to Dark Haven and ride up. So here, yeah. You need sockets and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 
I probably need to farm that as well, but since I'll be away, I won't be raiding in July at all. Hopefully I'll be raiding in... Uh, I really want to go for Cutting Edge this tier, like in 9.1. I really want to have that as a goal. We'll see, though. I also really, really want to... Um, since I'll have to be <laughs> be doing content in the spare, spare time again, I really, really want to push because there's definitely, like... The full-time dream is real. It is within grasp. We'll see what I do. Maybe I'll stream progress again. Since I'm just uh, another brick in the wall now, not the raid leader. Maybe I should try some... Hmm. Would be fun to do some M plus on like... Uh, my Warlock with Sow the Seeds, Affli. Might actually be fun to play Affliction in, uh, in M plus now. Oh yeah, for sure. It's so weird where the patch is right now, because like there's... It's just the new zone and the new reps. And some updates to Torghast and stuff like that. But like none of the recipes or none of the end game content is out yet, so it doesn't really feel like we <laughs> feel kind of feels like we're still in, in 9.0 in some respects, or that we're still like in waiting for the patch. Although everyone is like grinding Korthia, yeah, that's really the only thing to do, right? <laughs> it's nothing else. Um So obviously all of the, the all of the raiders and stuff are like hard farming for sockets and conduits. Probably min maxing. I think it's sad. Yeah, but there's at least a lot of nook and nooks and crannies, but yeah, it's not particularly large. But they you have to uh, this motor on is also effectively like new, right? There's, there was nothing here earlier. Yeah, they made a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the new content is not actually happening in Corthia, right? So they spent a lot of time like designing the uh, Maw assaults and the Tormentors of Torghast event and all that stuff. That's like um, gonna come out of this. A lot of it's gonna come out of the same. Um, departments. Not all of it, though. It's not just, not so much the area design, but like quest design and mob design and all that stuff. Alright. I like this, uh... This world quest. I haven't done it in a long time. I do kind of enjoy it. Yeah. I honestly wish that they would just like give you a reasonable way to just hard grind relic fragments. Now it's just like you can kill like you have to run around and look for the little purple tinted mobs. Why not just like let us grind mobs for five rep each somewhere or something? I don't know. I guess you would, people would just two by four farm that and be done in a day. Like. Why do you have to make it feel so unrewarding? Uh, should I kill the muckrat? Yeah. I think that's gonna help us out. Why does it have to be gated? As long as it's capped so everyone eventually catches up, I don't think it needs to be gated. I understand why they want it to be gated though. Or certainly makes it easier for the casuals to keep up in some ways so they can get like 80 percent of the benefit but like most people i played with most people uh, casuals i played with are on the casual end of the spectrum were they were more likely to just completely ignore the more farm for sockets because it just didn't feel um it just felt annoying and slow it just felt so slow it felt like you had you were not really making progress 
Whereas if you add some sort of reasonable, I don't know. In classic, everyone's doing like rep farms for best and chance and whatever. And in retail, like no one, no one is doing the rep farms. Yeah, I got sockets eventually. I think I got sockets before I even went into mythic because we were just very slow on on heroic. At least I was was working on on the sockets while still a heroic raider. But I did I didn't start right away because I did the maw on my DK to get Crafters Mark II, or um, so I did a ton of. Um, like at launch, I was doing the maw every day on my DK, min maxing, not hyper min maxing, but at least maxing my uh, my eye. Uh, and then I just took a break from the maw for like a week or two because I got so bored. I, I didn't do it on my other crafters, so I only had the crafters mark for blacksmithing and jewel crafting, but I still made a lot of money. I actually made like 5 million gold uh, in sales selling the. Uh, cm2 items which is a lot more than i thought all right so that's this done time to go um into corthia time to go into corthia I think there are definitely gold. It depends on how you uh, how much gold you want to make. There are definitely things you can do with 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 less time investment. Like you can still do it, be in some like fire and forget markets and just spend like um, a couple of minutes reposting and it'll supplement a little bit. But yeah, for sure, some it depends on how hard you you prefer. Um, how much you want to focus on min maxing your character versus how much you want to. Do other things. Two tokens a month. Yeah, you can do that on your NA as well, right? That's even less gold. You can do that without breaking your back time wise. But as with everything else, it's gonna require some effort, of course. Like there's nothing that comes for for free. 10k a day. Yeah, so even if you're doing farming, that's like half an hour of farming if you wanted to do farming. And if you do something that's more time efficient, then uh, yeah. Like, um, just doing old world material flipping can probably get you there. That's what I did a lot. Um, so you just like, you, um, you log in once a day. And you shop for uh, materials from old expansions, and you repost the ones you sold. It'll take you a while to get to break, e or not to get to break even, but to get to the point where you're making more in sales than you make in gold, though. But I'm fairly certain that I'm making more than. Well, I'm, my average sales are somewhere in the like twenty to thirty k range on the realm where where I'm doing that. So probably not quite there yet. I need even more materials. Yeah, I started with not that much capital. It takes a while to build up uh, the gold, though. Like that's the the issue with that approach. Like it takes a while to build up um, some real gold. I think that was about what I started with when I started doing it. And now I'm up to like several million or one and a half to two million on the auction house. Something like that. But you can supplement it with some other stuff. Of course. If it's just for tokens, then... Hmm. I still think just like... Since you're gonna hard grind the... Um, the reputations anyway. Just get the... If you have relevant professions for it on your main just get the um, crafters mark uh, of the chain dial i like craft those 
and that should be a very good market. I think catch up to like if you get the 230 gear fast enough, I think people will buy the people on the like slightly more casual end of the spectrum might buy them for like their mains or their alts. Oh yeah. Then you for sure like um just take advantage of the crafters mark of the chain dial. You might be relatively early to market with that and I think that's going to be extremely profitable particularly with jewel crafting because the rings come with a guaranteed socket so a 230 ring with best stats and a guaranteed socket in fact we might actually be approaching the first time in shadowlands history where missives for <laughs> are worth it for picking your stats we might oh yeah yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about that. I need to add. Um, I need to update my profile before I go away. Maybe we will do that. Might actually do it today on stream. We need to add some stuff for the new crafters marks. Need to add custom sources. I was thinking about. I'll. I'll write. I'll probably. I'll uh, do it later today. I was thinking about. So I think my next post will be about that. Um. The new crafters marks and how you can implement those. Um. And then we're ready to rumble. Wait. But yeah, because the crafters mark uh, of the chain dial, they're quite expensive, right? So the items are going to be expensive. Um, and these are going to be items that you'll keep for a while. So you definitely want to get the best stats. Um, so for instance, I think it might be worth it to actually craft, it might be worth it to craft those with missives to get the most popular stat combinations. Like say someone is playing, oh, Korthi, researching Korthian, nice. Relics, good stuff. Ah, that's how we start the Archivist Codex. But when you're looking at something with a... Uh, I'm not sure if any of my current professions can even learn it. No, they can't. Alright, that sucks. Alright, so now we got the... Uh, Archivist Codex opened up. We can start doing it. Got my first Corythite Crystal as well. Definitely try selling this one. Wait, there's 35 average region average daily sold. Well, that crystals will have to end up at a much higher region average daily sold than that. For sure. Mm -hmm. I was just going to check what time it was. Is this rare up? Oh no, I barely, just barely didn't make it. No, Sag. Barely didn't make it. That sucks. Oh, I I really like this one though. The fact that the map shows you if the rare spawned, we're definitely killing Croak. I just gotta wait for someone else to come fight him because I cannot solo this big boy. That's for sure. Mm -mm. But yeah, like there are certain slots, rings, neck, um, and some of the other like non shard domination slots. But definitely, um, sad I don't have the recipe. We can't check the recipe, but I th it's like 15 orbital crystals, orbital shards, I think, for the. Um, um, for the mark of the chain dial. So it's gonna be. Yeah. So I think. So where I see the chain dial gear selling is like somewhere in the 15 to. Uh, 15 to 50,000 gold range is where I see this selling. Um. 
and uh, in that range there might be enough profit at least if you have inscription yourself to use missives because i do think that the better stat variants will probably sell for more because this is not just like oh i just need item level catch up on my alt this is i like relevant item level catch up i should say this is like uh okay this item is actually going to be relatively good and something i'll keep for a while these got faction tagged, so if the alliance tag or if the horde tags it, I'm screwed. Um, yeah, I I did. Aren't you a patron? I I did. I uh, compared all that with the region prices. And one of my latest posts that should be out on the on Patreon. It's coming on the blog soon. Either I don't quite remember if it's uh, coming today or on uh, Monday. Coming on uh, Monday. All right. Well, I, my latest post on Patreon is about comparing all of the crafting costs of both Crafters Mark uh, Three and Chain Dial using region pricing. I don't remember what the... So we have like the full... Full set. Um, but uh, the TLDR is that uh, jewel crafting is still really cheap. Just as it was in um, in 9.0. And um, for for Crafters Mark of the Chain Dial. Uh, cloth is quite expensive. At least on EU. That's because on EU. Interesting. It's interesting fact. Lightless Silk. Region market price is five times higher on EU than NA. For whatever reason. No, I, I have no idea why, but that's what it is. The region market price of... Uh, uh, of a Lightless Silk is five times higher on uh, on EU. I have no idea why. We was we were trying. Some people were speculating about it on stream yesterday, but it's like very weird. Luckily, this one does not get faction tagged, so I get the tag as well. That's going to be part of why it's tailoring might be cheaper on NA. Um, It's a good chance that it's significantly better on NA than on EU um, for uh, chain dial marks. Whereas it's giga expensive on uh, on our end. So I'm gonna keep working on unlocking the daily and weekly stuff. So um, we gotta go and work on the Desmoteron questline. Gotta unlock assaults and stuff. Oh, nice. Upgrade. Good stuff. Need of assistance. Death's advanced war chest. These ones give you so much rep and stuff. Duo of seven helmet. Good stuff. Venari. And so much anima. You're literally swimming in anima in 9.1. This is where we open up the teleporter, right? Yeah. You get so much anima. It's nice, though. It's nice, though. It might finally be able to like finish my covenant sanctum and stuff like that. Alright, let's teleport. Aris Refuge. So now, 
now we can do the quest line to unlock the researcher. It's kind of long. Or takes you all the way through here. And then you get the one for the fate scribe afterwards. I did this one, the assault supply carriage. That's the most um, disappointing rare I've ever done. It's a Corthia rare, it starts here. And then you, the only thing you got is Stygia. The only thing you get for it is Stygia and Venari rep. It's so sad. Why would I care about Stygia or Venari rep in 9.1? Okay, you care a little bit about Stygia, like a little bit, but... Let's face it. Okay. Screw this. It's so disappointing. Like, who cares about Stygia now? It's trivial to get. How do you like Corthia so far? I mean, it's a uh, rep grind land. What's up, Elliot? Well, uh, not sure if it's meaningfully different from. Uh, oh, yeah, now we're here. <laughs> I started doing this on my when I did this on my uh, EU account. I just started running there and I pulled like everything and I barely survived due to <laughs> and then I realized that oh yeah, I don't have to pull all the mobs between here and the place. We can just stealth between them. Yeah, ah, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, I feel like I capped out relatively fast on stuff that isn't like waiting around for spawns in Corthia on my uh my main crafters yesterday, like I did the dailies, I did the assault, I even finished the weekly objective. On my two crafting alts, one on each account. I uh, did not do it all on my main though, I didn't do the assault there. Like overall it felt like it went relatively quick to max out on anything that's like reasonable and then you just have to run around and wait for rares to spawn. Mm. How far did you get into tier 3, Quinn? I got a little bit into tier 3, if I remember. Or, uh, I'm like 500 rep. Actually, th that was interesting, because I was dual boxing, right? W having one account on follow. Um, and my shaman got like 500 more rep with, uh, with Archivist Codex for whatever reason. I have no idea why. Alright, so you got about a 1,000 more than my shaman then. Got about a thousand more then. A thousand rep? That's not just one random drop though, that's a good bit of stuff. Considering the relics, the, the ones that give 500 are just like one time things that you do. Quite a bit of extra random drops. Maybe I forgot looting something. I gotta bring my guys up here though to get the Hellsorn battle plans that can drop up in this motor on. Right, let me do this. All right, we gotta kill that one. Kill the small guys, come on. Relics aren't guaranteed. Well, the relics are guaranteed. We're talking about the relics, the Relics are the one-time thing. Oh god, I'm in so much trouble. You think, is there anywhere here where I want aggro? Yeah. The relics are the one-time thing. 
the one time quest items there there's one set that you can get at tier one there's another set that you need tier two because you need the cheese keys for and the next set are the ones you pick up inside of the um inside of the um the teleporters right that you have to re uh, repair and there's ones that drop from the rares inside there as well Come on. Oh god. The South Island area. You mean this area? How did you get there? I didn't know you could get there yet. But yeah, there's gonna be one. Uh, there's an uh, there's a relic you can pick up there. There is a relic you can pick up there. I'm aware of that. Um, so that's five hundred rep for that relic for sure. Mm-hmm. Much time we got left. Not much. <laughs> hmm. I don't have any uh, sixty demon hunters. I have to pay someone. Okay, so I've watched this. We're not gonna watch cinematics today. We did watch cinematics all day yesterday, but now I've seen it all on my main. Oh yeah, it's gonna save us some time. Just blast. Demon hunters feel so good. Like the the jump and glide stuff. The movement of demon hunters just feels so good. I think there's a bunch of RP here. I like that you get Vala Jar rep. That adds a little bit of like uh um uh, RP feeling to this stuff. <clears throat> I I farmed. Wait. I did spend some time farming for the vial of the sands recipe on a demon hunter. I didn't get it, but doing like the um, I stopped farming eventually. I wasn't going to play more on that realm. And uh, on my current realm, I actually, I might not have vials available for sale on Draenor, but who cares about that when there's 9.1 stuff to do? Uh, why is nothing happening? Need to talk to someone? Oh, now it's... Oh, yeah. But uh, it was so nice to jump around the uh, some of those um... oh, yeah the rift stone is what uh, getting into the rift I went into the rift on one of my characters and then I just died instantly <laughs> okay Oh yeah, we talked to Odin to turn it in. Good stuff. Fury given wise. Chosen few. We will not finish this quest line though, that's for sure. Today. It's, I think you get ported out if you die. I just like over pulled something stupidly. I got in on my low geared character that's mostly on follow, my shaman. So that was annoying. Someone was mounted up on like a uh, yuck in the corner here on EU. So you can click this one when I tried doing this quest. What a douche.
This is like, uh, if you don't do it in time, then it gets cancelled kind of quest as well, so it's even worse. Wait, you don't get... You don't get coins of brokerage in Corthia? That sucks. Powdered flux. I didn't do all the rares at all. I'm a slacker though. Powdered flux. Zero bone dust here. No bone dust. We'll finish the quest here in Skyhold if we can. And then go turn in the uh, um, the calling I did. We'll take it from there. Wait! No! 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 Oh, that counts. Oh yeah, you you're on NA. You have one more day. Effectively, you got it on Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. Um, I trust them. At least in TBC, where the only place I really use them. So I believe you can trust them. But I'm not actually. I don't think they've documented exactly how it's cal calculated. Or what rates they use. I should check that. Getting help. Be here. Destroy. It just says that destroy is calculated based on the DB market of the items you'll get. You think? How much do you get from like the rares? You will get less. Do you get that much? I mean, you're getting. It's far longer and longer for the higher tiers as well. I'm guessing getting tier six, 6 before the raid is possible. It was possible to get Venari sockets before um, Sire died the first time. Um, there were multiple like Limit and, um, and Echo Raiders who had sockets in time for Sire. I don't think they had it for the first Mythic week, but they had it in time for the... Today, after doing all of the one-time things. That's gonna be nice. I mostly care about getting. Then I have to. Uh, I have to just stay all day in in Corthia then. That much, huh? And it's gonna be even more next week when we get the next zone or next part of the zone. Hopefully, we get that next week. All right. And we are out of here. That's that's tier 4 or tier 3? 
tier 4, right? Rift stones. Tier 3 is the repair kits. Or is it the other way around? Oh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, so we're done here. Hearth and turn in the calling and the anima. Not gonna turn in replenish the reservoir though. Not until we have um, 40 renown. Not before we have 40 renown. We're gonna deliver the anima though. Boom. 1500. Just swimming in it. Let's unlock the anima. Conductor, I guess. A new adventure joins the stable. That's really good. Now we're just gonna send him on a mission and then go repost uh, if anything is expired. I think maybe not because I cancelled everything already. Only to check the auction house still. Cosmos. Hello, Cosmos. What do you want to do? What can you do? Is he just gonna fail everything? Big possibility. Yeah, okay, so then we just send him on the five uh, on one of the four hundred rep missions. Ah, uh, then we just send him alone. He's get get leveled up. And that's what matters. Right. Do you think I've sold anything while we were out? No, nothing. Everything has long duration as well, so there's really not much to do here. We can do it, run a post scan, see if there's anything we need to undercut. All right, so that's a little bit more stuff on the auction house. It's gonna leave us with 447K. So that's actually more than yesterday, that's nice. Didn't even recraft anything outside of the, the missives. That's good. Then we're going to sell some trash. I hate that the sell trash button doesn't sell soul bound trash. It's so annoying. So annoying. All right, I think that's it. That's another Korean music box. All right, so that's us at 75k gold. I mean, our gold is going up. We're approaching a uh, token now, rapidly. If we just continue with this pace. Uh, I should have turned that one in. Probably gonna get more of that. Kept getting that one on my mains. But yeah, that's it for this episode. We are a little bit further along. I prioritized doing a calling today. I'm not sure if it was worth it or not. Um, we are almost done with the Desmoteron quest line. Just got a, a little bit to do here and then turn in the sound the Ilska horn and kill the eye. And then we can uh, do more, uh, focus even more on the rep here. It's going to take a while to get the recipes, but um, so we're, we're definitely not going to be first to market when you're just playing one hour every day. But we will get there and make some money with those eventually. So um, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Leave a like, a comment down below, and uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll see ya.